Welcome to Show Me Tech Tips. Have you had a window that disappeared off the edge of the screen and you don't know how to get it back? If so, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you three different ways that you can get those lost windows back on screen. Okay, so you found yourself in an annoying situation where your windows have disappeared off your screen, off the edge of the screen is normally what's happened, and you want to get them back. This happened to me just the other day, and so I'm going to show you three different ways you can get your windows back if they've disappeared. So in this particular scenario, I've got two. I've got a Chrome window, which is refusing to show itself, and a Word document, which is also refusing to show itself, although you can see it sort of flicking on the edge of the screen there. So how do I go about getting those back? Well, the first of the three ways I'm going to show you involves using the Cascade feature on Windows. You do that by right-clicking on the taskbar, and you'll see a whole lot of options here. The one you want is the one that says Cascade Windows. If you do that, you'll see that some programs will pop back onto screen. So Chrome is a good example where that will pop back on and you've got your window, you can then use it as normal. However, you'll notice the Word document is still nowhere to be seen. So we're going to have to kind of go for the next step on that. So the first important thing is to make sure you've got it selected. Now you can either select it from the icons on the bottom, if you've got it on the bottom here, or you can alt tab between them so pressing alt and tab i can switch between the windows i've got a few other things running to record this video but you'll notice that the window i'm trying to get back i want to have a white uh, board around you can see it here so i've got to make sure that's highlighted now again the window won't appear but what i'm going to do now is put the window into move mode so what i mean by that is i'm going to tell windows that i want to move that window so to do that i'm going to click on the Alt key with the Space key and the M key all at the same time. And you'll notice that when I press Alt, Space and M, the cursor changes. Now, if the window was right on the edge of the screen, I might be able to drag it back, but it's nowhere to be seen. So I'm now gonna use the cursor keys or the arrow keys to get my window back. So I happen to know my missing window is off the right hand side of this screen so I'm going to click the left arrow and you can see it starts to come back. I can also go up, down and right and you can see I can then pull it back into view and you'll notice that after a while the cursor will jump onto the window and now I can just move it using the mouse. Once Windows sees the missing window then it uh, tries to help you out a little bit. Now I might want to get the window to drop as it were and stop following the mouse round I just click the left mouse button and then I'm back to normal and my lost window is back in view. The last option you've got is to try and kill the process now that is very likely to lose any work that you have however to try and minimize the chance of that happening you could make sure the window is highlighted press Control S and return so control S, let go, press return, because in many programs that will save the file that's open. And by pressing return, if it's asking you for a file name, it will just put the default file name in. So that when you reopen the program, you should find that somewhere that file might have been saved. Again, that's not a great solution, but it's kind of the last ditch attempt, because normally when you reopen the program, the windows will all be reset. So hopefully one of those three ways has helped you get your missing windows back on screen. Let me know in the comments below which way worked for you, or maybe you came up with another way of getting your windows back. Do let us know. If you need any more tech tips, subscribe to this channel, and I'll ask the questions in the comments below. This has been Show Me Tech Tips.